welcome to Vlogmas 2019 with me, Talia from Talia's Nail Tales. That's right, you guys, every single day in December, you're gonna have a video from me leading up until Christmas. Welcome to day 11, everyone. Day 11 is my official nail studio tour video in this particular nail studio. The last time I did a nail studio tour was two years ago in my past nail studio space, which was also in my home like this one is. I have just about been in this space now for two years and I wanted to do a tour sooner for you guys, but I kept telling myself, once it's complete, once it's all set up, once it's perfect, then I'll film the video. If you guys have kept up with any of my organization videos, you guys know that I am constantly changing things up in my nail studio space, adding things, taking things away, reorganizing, shuffling things around. So what I've decided to do instead is do a tour of my studio space at least once a year so that we can all see together how it's changed over the past year. So this is the 2019 one. I do have separate videos for a lot of different elements and aspects of this particular studio as well though. So any Anything that I mention or that is of reference, I will leave in the description box below. I get asked a lot of the same questions over and over again, such as about my desk or studio space or organization things. And I have tons of playlists and tons of videos up to answer all of those questions for you guys. I'm gonna do a quick overview here of what my studio looks like when you first come in. So I keep all of my nail art on the left-hand side. I have my studio stuff for filming in the back and then I have my editing desk in the back as well. And then this right here is where my clients come in for me to do their nails. And this is just the other view. If you were sitting in my client's position, you would see the nail art and the filming desk in the back there. Immediately to the left when you walk in, if I don't have a client, this is where I will keep my cart that generally sits right beside my nail desk. Now this cart looks different now. If you guys have kept up with this Christmas series, then you know I have a new smaller white cart that sits at my desk now, but generally I have a cart that sits at my desk for when I'm working on my clients because it keeps my desk clutter free. Right beside the cart are four, six Alex drawer units stacked on top of each other. Just a side note, Ikea does not recommend doing this, but I've done it because I like to have all of my nail art put away for the most part in my nail studio. The majority of my nail work is for filming, so I do have a lot of products and I like to kind of keep it tucked away because if I see it out, I find it too overwhelming. And I do have a video going over what's inside of these drawers, also how these drawers have marble on them. And again, those videos will link, be linked in the description box below. A huge passion of mine, as well as I guess you could say a hobby, is organization. So I do spend a lot of time reorganizing and organizing everything in this nail studio because I truly just enjoy it but it also needs to function for me to be working in a space with this money products on top of the Ikea units I do keep a little bit of polishes from jelly fit out because I just think they're so pretty and I love to have them on display Right beside the Alex drawer units is this scrapbook paper organizer that I picked up at Michael's. This houses all of my scrapbook papers that I use for the backgrounds of my videos, as well as this drawer unit from Ikea, which also houses some background props uh, that I use for filming, as well as for pictures. And I do have a video up on all of this as well. We are just gonna keep going around the room. So this desk here, again, is from Ikea. Basically everything in my studio is from Ikea, but I use this desk for filming. So I do generally keep these two studio lights sitting at this filming desk, unless I'm filming clients, then one of these studio lights moves over to my nail desk as well. On my filming desk, I do have this Archon mounts that attaches right to my desk. This is a new addition to my filming setup, and I really like it because it takes away some of the space that the actual freestanding mount that you can put on the table uh, would take up and I'm really enjoying having a little bit of extra space on my filming desk. If I'm being real with you guys, I would love to have a larger desk for filming because this gets covered in supplies when I'm filming videos for you guys. The lamp that I use at my desk as well is a daylight lamp that is a floor standing lamp. And this adds just like the right amount of light for my videos. And I do get comments often on my videos how the lighting is pretty close to dead on for colors. And it's because of all of these lights. Your lights and your camera make a huge difference for your colors when you're filming. I don't keep very much on my filming desk generally, except for this cubed organizer, this little desk garbage, a gel lamp to cure my uh, gels when I'm filming videos for you guys. And that's it because I know how covered it gets. This is just an overview of what my filming setup looks like. It works really well, but I do want to try and tweak it in 2020 to make my lighting a little bit better and just make it function a little bit better for me. So maybe 
maybe we'll see that in the 2020 video of my studio tour if that changes at all. Beside my filming desk, I do have this little floor seat for my daughter Violet if she ever needs to be in the studio with me. I think I've used that maybe twice. Generally, I work when the girls are sleeping or I have care for them. This is my filming cart that I kind of tuck away in the corner over here. Uh, this way I can easily pull it up if I am filming videos for you guys, but I do have a complete separate video on this that I recently posted, so I'll be sure to leave that in the description box below so you guys can uh, get more information about this cart, what it is, where it's from, everything that's in it, and how I use it. Right beside my filming cart, I have this Alex drawer unit from Ikea again. It is a nine drawer unit and generally houses my gel polishes. And I use gel polish mainly only for filming, so I don't use them a ton on my clients, which is why they're not in the nail organization art piece that you saw before. Um, it functions really well being here because it's close to my filming desk. Right beside that unit is my editing desk, which is also from Ikea, shocker. Uh, but this, I'm pretty sure this desk is discontinued. They have something different now there. And I just put one of those marble countertop drawer liner things on top of it. That's why it looks marble. And I have my computer resting on top of this desktop riser. So if you guys keep up with my vlog videos on this channel, then you'll remember when I was looking at that on Amazon. I decided to go with a corner one. And I have to say, I really love that it gives my desk a little bit of extra space, but also raises my monitor up. So right beside that, I keep my phone. Generally, if I'm editing on this phone stand, I have my mic that I use for voiceovers. I also have a really nice lamp in here because I prefer to edit in the dark. So I do keep just a lamp going every once in a while. And right beside that on the stand, I do have my Rhinestones Unlimited Swarovski Crystal Color Chart. This way I know for sure what the names of the crystals are when I'm editing videos for you guys. I have my mouse, my mouse pad, as well as my planners. So you guys have seen the social media planner already. And then I do keep a notebook for different type of things that I have to jot down in my videos when I'm editing. I do have this pen organizer stand from Michaels. And on top of that, I keep this picture that is from Shannon, which is Nail Candy by Shannon. She actually passed away this year. And it was, it was really sad. It was really sad for the nail industry and anybody that knew her. And and she made me this really beautiful picture frame when Rose was born and she put like her pictures on it and it's so cute. I absolutely love it and I just keep it right at my desk to remind me of her. And that is my editing desk. Generally, this is the type of stuff that I need when I'm sitting down to edit videos for you guys. And I spend so much time sitting at this desk. So this is actually a project that I wanna do in 2020 is make this a little bit more of a motivational area. If you guys have any ideas of maybe some pictures I could hang or something that I could do to make this look a little bit more cute, <laughs> just comment below and let me know because I would love to do something with this space and I'm just not too sure what. The only piece of like wall artwork that I have in this space is the calendar that I use all of the time for keeping track of the different videos that I'm doing. So right beside that is my little sink area. This is an area that we had built in when we uh, custom designed this studio space for me when we initially bought our house. And where I live, you're required to have a stainless steel sink in a nail studio. So that is why I have this little stainless steel sink in here. And this just houses my extra nail supplies, cleaning supplies, anything extra that I need in my studio is all tucked away in here. This is the view once you're coming around that corner of what my studio space looks like. So it looks pretty cohesive with all of the different marble accents. I'll give you guys one more quick overview of what it kind of looks like right here. So you guys can kind of see what the panoramic view of it is before we talk about my nail desk just a little bit, because I do have so many videos up talking about this nail desk. So I'm not going to dive too deep into it. front of my accent wall, I do have a Christmas tree set up because that is the time of year and I have a video showing you guys how I set this up if you're interested. My accent wall is from Rocky Mountain Decals and it was the inspiration for a lot of the color palette of this nail studio space. I do really like my wallpaper, but I would like to change it eventually down the road and do something a little bit different. I love change, you guys. If you haven't got that from my videos, I love mixing things up. So down the road, I think I'd like to do something a bit different with it. But I do keep this little shelf over here as well for the background of my video. If I ever do like face front filming, then this is where I sit for it. So on my desk, just for Christmas, I don't generally keep this little bucket out, but this little container here houses all of most of my Christmas goodies so that they're really easy for me to access when I am working on clients for the Christmas season. Usually this little polish rack that houses all of my Apres alcohol inks sits on that white shelf, but because it is full of stuff right now, it's sitting at my nail desk. 
I don't love to have this much stuff on my nail desk when I'm working though so those will both be moving when Christmas is done right on the wall here I have this large polish rack which houses all of my clear jelly stamping polishes initially I had all of my polishes in my drawer because I like to tuck things away but I use these all of the time and it was kind of hard for me to see what colors I had and what I wanted to reach for when I was doing different nail art on my clients so I have to say that I do love having my clear jelly stamper polishes out on display like this and super easy for me to grab at my nail desk right beside the polish rack I keep a coaster for my water and a desk garbage for all of those small little garbages that I can just toss in there I also have this little stand here which was from uh, home sense and it houses a little decor flower my hand sanitizer as well as my swatch stick display so that my clients can see what the new colors are as well as I can easily reach them I also keep a little ring holder for my clients on here too The rest of the items on my desk have not changed since my updated desk tour that I did film in the studio space. I have my light elegance lamps. I also have this stand that I use for my clients. I have a built-in uh, vacuum for my desk. I have my Erica's e-file on my desk in this video, but I do have a new e-file since then, which that video will either go up in the new year or over the Christmas break. I haven't quite decided yet. If you want more information about my desk, definitely be sure to watch my nail desk tour video, but generally it is a custom made desktop that sits on two Ikea Alex drawer units, the five ones. No, I don't share the dimensions of my tabletop, but I'm sure if you were to take a picture of it to a local cabinet maker, you'd be able to come up with something for it. I am I'm more than happy to share a lot of information with you guys on my social media but this is something I like to have for myself thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my nail studio tour I hope that you enjoyed it I hope it gave you a little bit more insight as to what my studio space looks like generally my studio space needs to function for me for filming YouTube content for you guys that is the main like work that I do down here so I've kind of tried to set it up so that I can film on my clients have access to my nail art while I'm filming as well as have a nice space for editing but I am looking forward to hearing some of your guys's tips and maybe suggestions on how to make my editing space just a little bit more pretty and motivational I think that would be a really nice goal for me for 2020 but make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media come back tomorrow for the final conclusion of Sarah's and my Christmas nail art series two days from now I will conclude vlogmas 2019 you guys aren't going to want to miss that video because I've been preparing for it for a while and I'll see you in my next video bye